In this video, we're going to talk about the values that we store in variables, and we're going to talk about the types, or rather the data types of those values and why they're important. So to begin with, let's go ahead and create a new file called data types.js, and this is where we're going to do all of our work. And one of the things that makes JavaScript so unique when compared to other programming languages is that whenever you declare a variable like we do here, let uh, x equal 7, uh, the variable itself does not have a data type. Only the values that we store inside the variables have the data type. So we can kind of see this whenever we're um, working with variables, uh, we can use something called the type of operator. And this will tell us the data type that we're working with. So, well, let's go ahead and go back to here. Let x equals 7. So let's start off by just doing console.log. And then we'll say type of, all one word, lowercase, and then x. And let's save that. Save it. And uh, here I'm going to type node and then data types and you'll see that it outputs a number. So that's one of the first data types. The X data type is a number and a data type is really just the kind of data that we want to store. So if you want to perform math or some algebraic uh, operation, then you want to use a number. And if you want to do a yes or no, true or false, uh, evaluation, then you'll want to use a Boolean. And if you want to display something on screen, then you'll want to use a string, which is basically a shorthand for string of characters. And you usually represent those with single quotes with whatever string of characters you want to, uh, to use inside of it. So let me give you a few examples here. We've already looked at number, let y equal true. And so then we'll do console.log type of y. And then I'll just go ahead and do z as well. Let z equals hello world. And then console.log z. Whoops, not just z. I want type of z. All right. And so now let's go ahead and run this. And we can see that we get the three data types that we're currently working with. A number, a boolean, and a string. So in the case of a number, it can be any positive or negative number. It can even have decimal values. Uh, in the case of a boolean, it can either be true or it can be false. Those are the only two values. And then if we want to create a string, it's going to be anything inside of the single quotes. It's a literal string of characters. I literally want H-E-L-L-O space W-O-R-L-D, all right? And so those are the, your three of your seven basic, um, <clears throat> basic types, data types. There's also another case. Let's let A and then console.log the value of A and then console.log type of a all right and just to remove the confusion here i'm going to use a multi-line comment this allows me to avoid having to do this on every line right i can just do this little slash star at the top then go down to the bottom of where i want to comment out and then star slash and you can see everything that's highlighted in green or, or turned to the green color is now commented out just as if I had commented out each individual line separately. So here I'm just creating a variable A, but I'm not initializing it to a value. Remember we saw, do you remember what it output when we did this before? It output uh, the value undefined, but we want to see what the type is because we said that it's the, the value that's assigned to the variable that has a type so what is the type of a variable that has nothing assigned to it? Well, that's what we're going to get to the bottom of right now. So we see that the value is undefined and the type is undefined. So now we have four types. We have 
number, boolean, string, and undefined. And there's two or three others that we're going to look at here before the uh, before the very end. We'll get to them. They're a little bit more complex. But those are the four that we have to work with, uh, at least to start off with. And so that's all I really wanted to say. The next thing we're going to talk about very quickly is how I would convert one type into another type. How do I force JavaScript to treat a string like this, console.log, um, and then a literal string of the value 9? How do I make it treat it like the number 9? Well, we'll talk about that in the next video. We'll see you there. Thanks.